Howdy folks, I cannot believe this, but <laughs> holy cow. If you read if you read the title, it's true. I this is a <laughs> this is a light no fire channel now. I'm not kidding. This game looks incredible. And I'm I'm really not that much of a fantasy guy. I, I've dabbled here and there, but this this <laughs> this looks like my dream fantasy game, I have to say. So for those of you who aren't aware, Hello Games, the team behind uh, the small indie team behind No Man's Sky, have just announced their latest uh, or their next big upcoming game. <laughs> Sean said it's even more ambitious than No Man's Sky, which uh, that's that's quite a statement, especially coming from Sean. He should know better. But um, you know they're they're masters of hype, I have to say, and this trailer is incredible. Um, so I obviously this premiered at the Game Awards 2023. I watched it then. I've rewatched it several times. I am I am hyped, as you can probably tell. This isn't. <laughs> I didn't take the time to do a <laughs> write a detailed analysis or anything because I'm just gonna go through this trailer. Um, so I'm just gonna run this through and I'm gonna pause a lot. So please excuse me. Um, but I mean, look at this opening shot. Look at that four player multiplayer, probably a lot more in the, in the open world, similar to no man's sky, how you can have like 32 players on a planet at the moment. So this game, Sean said, <laughs> they're basically building a big earth. So once you start this trailer, it'll say a multiplayer earth. And that's the idea. They're taking all the procedural generation of no man's sky. Well, not of no man's sky. Everything they've learned, essentially, from making No Man's Sky. But instead of having a universe of planets, with each planet having a single biome, they're building a single planet larger than Earth. You know, Sean said the the mountains are taller than what you'd see on Earth. Taller than Everest, miles high. And it's supposed to have... Again, these claims are almost unbelievable, but the variety of a universe. So... I don't think that literally means like the variety of a universe. I think what Sean is saying is like the variety of a universe like No Man's Sky, which has, um, oh gosh, I forgot how many different biomes I counted. It's like over 70, which is a lot of biomes and they might have even more in this game, but that's sort of what I think. So when this, Sean, Sean speaks in, in very optimistic language, which I appreciate. It makes me hype. But you have to understand that a game like this won't have the, probably won't have the diversity of a literal universe, like our universe, but the diversity of a universe like No Man's Sky, which I still think is pretty incredible. So it's multiplayer, you can play with your friends. Uh, it's procedural, as we've seen. Only, um, I mean, you can see the DNA throughout this trailer of No Man's Sky. It looks like No Man's Sky, but like fantasy. Uh, <laughs> Nolo Pata in his thumbnail, he said No Man's Skyrim. It's pretty good. Um, and then here, a fantasy earth. Look at that. Look at these biomes. Look at these skeleton guys. I mean, the gothic ruins. Everything about this is so exciting. Seeing Hello Games take their tech, their engine, which can... For those of you who aren't aware, Hello, what Hello Games have accomplished with No Man's Sky is staggering and I am I wish more people were talking about it I wish I was talking about it more I'm too busy working to make all the videos I want to make about their procedural generation but the idea of that applied to a single planet in a fantasy setting is is tantalizing to say the least um so this is like the pre-trailer and unexplored earth oh that's the other thing so I'm assuming we're all going to start in different parts of the planet. Um, he didn't say that. Maybe we'll all start in one place and explore in opposite directions. But the idea of like me starting somewhere like in a continent or a canyon no one's ever seen before. My buddies, you know, linking up with me. And then imagine we're riding over the mountains and we see this orb, right? Like they're showing right here just over the horizon. Oh my gosh, I can't even. And then it's like, hey, we found a dungeon no one's ever seen before legitimately you know what i mean Ugh. it could be great depending on on how much they fine-tune the procedural generation but look at this so this is where the trailer really starts all footage 
in-game multiplayer. So, this isn't a CG trailer. No Man's Sky, they've never done CG trailers. They always use in-game footage. And this footage looks good. The funny thing is, this footage looks like No Man's Sky. Um, I could see how some people, if, if you're like a more casual observer, you might think this just looks like No Man's Sky. But I can tell you, playing No Man's Sky as much as I have and, and making as many videos as I have and recording as much footage, this looks better than No Man's Sky. Um, oh my gosh. So this this trailer is, is inspired by, based on the original 2013 No Man's Sky announcement trailer, uh, announced at the Spike uh, Video Game Awards 10 years ago. So that's really exciting. And that trailer began underwater all these schools of fish and it had a sunken ship but it was a spaceship and now here they have a sunken uh i guess long ship or something so that's a that's a fun callback that's really cool um this time they've got multiplayer so they got all your friends look at this you have different races <laughs> those kind of remind me of gek um but you've got someone that looks like a human but look at that octopus in the background look at that octopus Oh wait, mute that again. And why would that be selected? I mean, golly, this looks smooth. It looks so good. And the coral and the rocks, everything. And then here yeah, they come, they pop out of the water just like in the original trailer. And look at that. Hello Games, I mean, they love their color. And the cool thing is, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but up here you can see a little a little tower that we'll pass by later in the trailer. But the fact that you can see these things at such a distance, I mean, draw distance in a game like this is really important to like make exploration more tantalizing. I mean, that's right there, that's a goal, right? You and your friends see that? Oh, what's that? We gotta go check it out. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. Um, so here we have a dragon course this again is like the ships flying over in the original trailer you have the the red tree and the instead of a spaceship parked under it, it's a dragon I mean this is they did such an excellent job with this okay so first freeze frame I want to get to here I keep missing this one so I haven't inspected it myself by the way notice the detail when it flaps its wings it, it blows like the dirt on the ground that's really cool so let me get this just right Oh, look at that. Maybe I need to slow this down a little bit. Let's get this to 0.5. Look at that. So this, funny enough, this is kind of a throwback to the first... Uh, the first trailer we got because we also had a, a sand planet with flags blowing in the wind but we didn't have a cool floating cube like that now funny enough I have I've always wanted No Man's Sky to have a giant floating cube like that on planets I actually I actually sent a whole lot of concept art to Hello Games one time back in the day uh, before before I had the playing cards produced and it included planetary things on on planets like this it had uh, procedural points of interest that were geometric uh, a lot like this and so it's really exciting to see that but we also get another look at um, a weapon that this person's carrying it looks like a staff what's interesting is they just added staffs to no man's sky in August with the echoes update and so when I'm looking at this whole trailer I see a lot of stuff that looks like it's an updated version of no man's sky even including like the clothing and all that but then I also see stuff that they could either bring into No Man's Sky or do a version of in No Man's Sky so we see a staff here and it's kind of clear okay maybe we can we might be able to build our own staff similar to No Man's Sky I mean uh, I don't know it's, it's really exciting it's all speculation at this point I don't know so there's here's another shot and again look look at how high they are in the air the clouds everything just looks so cool and so we've already seen you know dragons as a form of transportation and now we have gliders too um it just it looks like a good time doesn't it and then look at this shot i haven't been able to look at this one yet 
You can also ride giant birds in case dragons aren't your thing. Giant birds. <laughs> and and the, the other thing to note is that we've just seen three different biomes. I mean, this stuff is looking really, really good. Um, so here we are back in the, the main shot. We've got the grass that moves back and forth. That was an update in No Man's Sky. Um, we also have a player built community here, right? We, we show some resource gathering, some uh, building. Now, again, some people might look at this from No Man's Sky and Sean Murray and be like, oh, can they really pull this off? Are they just being overly ambitious again? Listen, everything we've seen in this trailer so far already works in No Man's Sky. We already have resource gathering and base building and multiplayer and planetary navigation and you can ride flying creatures and you can get in a spaceship and do all this and swim underwater. Like everything we've seen already works in No Man's Sky. That's what makes me so excited is that this isn't... Hello Games have caught so much flack. They caught so much flack back in the day that since then they've made a point to never show us anything in any of their trailers. They've put out over 20 trailers since the game released, each time they release an update. They make a point never to show us anything that isn't already in the game. <laughs> they learned their lesson, um, presumably, at least with No Man's Sky. And so my impression is based on, you know, seven years of getting trailers where whatever they show us is in the game. I mean, it looks like this stuff's going to be in the game. Yeah, it's already functional. This is this is a gameplay trailer. So we have base building. We have what looks like maybe crafting or cooking. You can put a little signpost. Little bunny dude. I mean, just look at how beautiful this, this setting is. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to build like a little fortress with my friends, a castle. Look at that. Look at that bird. I mean... It, Funny enough, this is mirroring a lot of their No Man's Sky trailers. Like, they, they always do this thing with all the people walking around and ships taking off. But now it's <laughs> fantasy creatures and birds and dragons. I mean, it's so cool. Look at that mountain. I mean, look at this. <sighs> that, that's incredible. All procedurally generated. So here's another shot. Dragon. Long boats. That's the thing. Okay. So when I tell you I'm hyped for things that might show up in No Man's Sky, first off, look at the water, the water shader. It looks so good. They could easily bring something like that into No Man's Sky. Same with ships. We already have oceans. We already have submarines. What if we had some kind of, uh, you know, vessel or even creatures that existed on top of the water? I mean, that would be really exciting to see in No Man's Sky. I don't think we're going to get sailboats, but, you know, Something that could tread the surface of water, kind of like the Nomad. And then let's look at our character here. They've got all kinds of weapons and things on their back. I like that you can see their weapons even when they're stowed. I mean, this is... This is exciting. Let's see the next frame. Alright, so here we have a look at a little bit of combat. They're using bows. It looks like they're fighting some procedural fauna. And maybe some enemies? Hard to say. Um, yeah, but, uh, looks great. And then here, I want to back that up a little bit. Sorry, I'm still running at 50% speed here. Shoo. Look at that. Okay, it's an exploding arrow. Even better. Oh, man, that looks cool. And then, look at this. Again, another biome. We have like rock crabs, a giant rock crab, and then we're, we have a flaming sword, a flaming sword. I mean, <sighs> they haven't shown us much combat yet as these trailers are more like, look at the world we've built, but come on, this looks really exciting. And then again, it's the other thing where funny enough, just this year in No Man's Sky, they added a new type of sentinel. Um, and it's a four legged spider sentinel with purple eyes suspiciously like that and some of the smaller enemies they added alongside that were smaller spider or maybe in this case crab like enemies so i love the idea that they can develop these things like ai and um and sort of uh, animation meshes and things like that and then they can import that into no man's sky so as they're building variety and tools 
and and testing things in this game they can also put them in no man's sky and in a sense test it in a real live environment so i as far as i can tell based on the no man's sky trailer we also saw at the game awards it seems like they're going to continue work on no man's sky it's not like they're moving from one to the next and since they're both running on the same engine <laughs> I mean, how crazy would it be to get simultaneous development on both games, like both supported live? And then on top of that, I mean, you look at these graphics, you look at everything. And just remember, it's like a team of like 20 people. I don't know how big their studio is now, but they're they're an indie and they're self-publishing. This is it's incredible. Well, I think they're working with 505 for publishing now, but you know what I mean? So here we have some of our mounts. We got a dragon. We have a, a bird. I think that's that's another dragon over there. Look at that. And I bet, I, I hope we can customize these. Uh, we can't customize ships at the moment. But if we can customize these, they might figure out a way to add that back into No Man's Sky. And character customization in No Man's Sky is excellent. You know, funny enough, I'm looking at like this hood and everything. And we recently got like more hoods and uh, ponchos in No Man's Sky. So again, it's this idea that like, it, as they're learning things here and in No Man's Sky, they can bring them back and forth between the two games. It's so exciting. All right, so let's look here. Again, water looking great. Seems like we can have different kinds of water. I mean, this one's green, but I think we saw a blue one in an earlier shot um, on that lake. We have some ships. It looks like there's some ruins, half sunk ruins. Um, I mean, that's exciting that there could be whole oceans with hidden underwater temples and shipwrecks and things. Just imagine how how exciting that is because No Man's Sky has sunken ruins and shipwrecks and stuff already. So, again, it's like I already know they can pull this off. <sighs> Looks really good. You see the little ships down there? They're different. Those are more like rafts. Looks like they've built a few structures. Smaller creatures. I mean, I could probably stare at this and break it down all day one thing oh let me go back here i was gonna say one thing that sean even mentioned was that you could stand on top of a, a mountain and look down and see rivers and so something you'll notice here something that isn't possible in no man's sky is that here we have a lake but it seems to be fed by a river that flows downstream so in no man's sky Every planet that has water has a water table. So all water is sort of at, at at sea level, so to speak. So rivers, there can be rivers in No Man's Sky, but they don't flow downhill. They're, they're all at the same level as any oceans or lakes. But what appears to be going on here, and it's hard to tell, but it seems like they might have downhill rivers, which again, if they can figure this out, can they bring it to No Man's Sky? I don't know. I mean, ugh, I, I cannot wait. These procedural clouds look amazing. Okay, <laughs> you look at these landscapes. This looks like a AAA production, but it's just like 20 people in Guildford. You know what I mean? It's, oh my gosh. And then look at that. Again, I can see the DNA of, of No Man's Sky's procedural generation, but here it seems like they're employing different parts of it in different areas. So even like where you can kind of see the procedural generation, the same time, this kind of looks like a giant spine. Like the, the way they're playing with terrain here is really exciting. Um, golly. So here we are back where we were flying through the clouds now. Those clouds look better than No Man's Sky, by the way. Again, they can bring those clouds into No Man's Sky. You know what I'm saying? And that would be all right. Okay. <laughs> Funny enough, while I'm paused here, you can see right here. This is like a little speed line. These look like the speed lines you get in your spaceship in No Man's Sky. Nothing wrong with that. I just think that's really, that's a fun little detail. So as we're flying over this mountain, we can see this tower. No, my wing. There we go. What well, looks like a tower. It's just kind of placed there. Um, it's kind of hard to tell the scale of it, but uh, yeah. It's, it's cool that uh, they can have points of interest that are just sort of on very uneven terrain. Because in No Man's Sky, they tend to even out the terrain around a point of interest, which makes them feel a little bit predictable. Um, 
they used to do something like this in the original No Man's Sky, like the 2013 version. Um, but upon release, they kind of fixed it because they had a lot of issues with like a terrain loading into buildings and stuff. So that'll be interesting to see how they handle it here. <laughs> Just kind of sitting there. But see, if I was if I was playing this, I'd probably want to go down and see what that is. Not to mention, as you can see over here in the corner, there's a flying point of interest. Again, give us like floating platforms in No Man's Sky. Give us orbital stations. Come on, do it. We can already put our ship in orbit and then like land on it in the planet's atmosphere. I mean, we're halfway there, Sean. Now, the other thing I like about this is it gives us a chance to see what's on the other side of the mountain. So if you remember at the beginning of the trailer, it's grasslands, there's trees and forests, it's red, green, blue, uh, yellow, and then on the other side of this mountain, it's more like a, a tundra or a highland looking biome, right? There's a lot of rocks, it looks like grass, but maybe not a lot of trees. So um, yeah, it's just cool how you can see, like even within this small of a region, you're gonna have a lot of variation. Although in the valley, it's blocked by clouds, but it looks like there could be some trees and things down there. Yeah, it'll be, remain to be seen what it'll be like exploring. Cause in No Man's Sky, you have a scanner and there's always stuff like underground and, and buried and stuff like that. But here, I, I don't know if you'll have a similar ability, if you'll be able to mine and, and <laughs> dig tunnels and stuff. I imagine you would, but um, yeah, it remains to be seen how much, how underground you can go. Because caves are also a very, very, very big feature of No Man's Sky. Every planet has subterranean systems. Gosh, I love the look of this, this flying thing. Ah, no, go back. It actually reminds me of, uh, like what you would expect from Star Wars, like a spaceport or something. Looks like it has a lighthouse and maybe you can dock your dragon up there. It, it looks cool. This is... And actually, No Man's Sky has floating terrain already. Again, it's like back and forth, right? They learn something from one game, they can bring it to the other. Or maybe the idea of like snow-capped mountains. Maybe we'll get that in No Man's Sky. Here we have a, a nighttime scene showing some presumably dynamic weather effects. Weather's been improved a bit in No Man's Sky. They have a torch, which looks amazing. Uh, fix fire in No Man's Sky, please. Um, the trees look cool. We have a campfire, so maybe there'll be more survival mechanics, you know, hunting, eating food, dehydration, things like that. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Another character. That's what my guy's gonna look like. <laughs> oh yeah, and then look at this. This giant titan that they're discovering. Again, will it just be like the monoliths in No Man's Sky where you talk to it and it's like, here is my wisdom? Or will this be like a boss fight? It looks like there's there's like a, a platform at its base, so maybe you just speak to it. But again, it's it's interesting. And then there's also like these little shadow dudes right here. You see that? <laughs> uh, another thing to note is that uh, the grass seems really reactive to the weather, so that's great. I mean, grass in No Man's Sky reacts, but it doesn't look this good. Well, that looks all right. Yeah, that guy looking up at you. I mean, this looks epic. And then this this straight up looks like No Man's Sky. I mean, it, you can ride a horse in No Man's Sky, essentially a space horse. But if you look at like the distribution of rocks along the ground, you look at the types of trees in the background, the mixture, even the color of this. I mean, it looks incredible, but this is, this is, uh, I mean, this is no man. Th this is a no man's sky screenshot right here. Even that flat hill in the background. I mean, this is no man's sky, but it looks so much better. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Starfield too, but with like, you know, riding horses, space horses. It looks great. I mean, there's not much to say here. It looks pretty great. Let's see here. Sorry, I thought I noticed something. No, not really. Yeah, I mean, I could point out like every colorful thing in the background or every flower and rock, but oh. But <laughs> y'all don't want to see that, right? Now look at this. This this scene, my wife really loved it and it stuck out to me too. I was too busy staring at the shield. I kind of missed the environment the first time. 
But look at this. That's a proper fantasy environment. And then, I mean, your party is made up of all these different species. These guys down here, these bunny rabbit NPCs. I mean, we were wondering, like, is this procedural? Or is this, like, maybe a, a curated story area? So, like, this might be handcrafted, right? Um, it's impossible to say right now. I mean, it, if this is procedural, we can see all kinds of different environments. Oh, man, sign me up. And then over here we have this guy sitting on a throne or something. Again, is he like an actual character or is it just a procedural NPC from a race we haven't seen elsewhere in the trailer? It's impossible to know. But look look at the effects here. You have petals falling. You have all kinds of lighting. The other thing to remember about this game is that all the lighting is dynamic. That's the same truth with No Man's Sky. Because everything's procedurally generated and the weather's dynamic and everything. There's no baked lighting in these games. Hello Games have figured out some incredible <laughs> lighting uh, tricks to light an entire planet, essentially, on the fly. So, it's it looks really good. This looks really good. Here we have, uh, again, another dragon flying shot. Those clouds are looking great. Looks like there's maybe a bit of snow in the air. Incredible. And then look at that. Again, look at this shot. This looks this looks next gen. Not in like the, oh wow, that looks as good as uh this game that looks really good. Senua's sacrifice. But like this looks really good considering the freedom you have. And again, I I sort of under it's easier for us to understand the scale of this game. Because we have No Man's Sky, we can imagine flying across a planet's surface for hours, you know, no invisible walls or anything. We know what that's like. We can imagine landing and exploring on foot for days and going into caves and finding points of interest. We understand how all that works because we already have No Man's Sky. Um, but man, look at that point of interest. Again, that concept art I submitted a few years ago, it included spheres like this too. I'm just saying, it's a good idea. Gosh, I hope that's a dungeon. It has like a maze on it. And then this, this part. So this is, let me just put this at full speed. Look at this. This is essentially, at the end of every No Man's Sky trailer, we get a little CG thing. This is it. This is it. Light, no fire. And this is, this is so much like No Man's Sky. It's fantastic. You have the red orb, obviously. Uh, you have the, the bottom pointy thing holding it. It looks like the, what's the name of that eight-sided shape? Gosh, that eight-sided form that holds the... The atlas you know the atlas shape in, in no man's sky this is like a fantasy version of it essentially then you got the death stranding hand down there with all the gold there's a little dude standing here my wife pointed out look at that got the no man's sky dude standing there i mean and then the title light no fire no man's sky it's a cool title i mean that's the weird thing is that this this has the dna of no man's sky and the way they're marketing it this light, I mean, look at this. This looks like the end of a No Man's Sky trailer. And the whole trailer is structured like a No Man's Sky trailer. It's clear they know their audience, but they also know what they did 10 years ago totally worked. And uh, I would say it's working again. I am completely hyped for this. Um, goodness gracious, that looks cool. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put this playing in the background while, while I, I talk a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really hyped. They did not give us a release date. Um, they haven't announced platforms yet. I'm assuming it'll be pretty much all platforms. You have to remember that Hello Games were able to bring No Man's Sky to the Switch, to Mac, to VR as well. Can you imagine if they bring this to VR? I mean, look at this. And, and No Man's Sky VR, it doesn't have any trade-offs. Everything you can do in regular No Man's Sky, you just continue your same profile. You can fly ships, drive vehicles, um, do anything you would normally do. But in VR, it's even more immersive. So they haven't made any, 
many announcements or any announcements in that direction, but, uh, you know, they, they definitely have the know-how is all I'll say. Now, riding a dragon in VR, I could see that getting a little sickening. A uh, spaceship is a little bit easier because you're not bobbing up and down, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't know. This game looks incredible, and I know, I know. Don't pre-order, you know, keep your expectations in check. That's what I always say. Um, but <laughs> that said, you know, come on, it's the Game Awards tonight. You gotta let me get hyped for at least one day, right? Uh, all that said, I mean, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but this isn't the same Hello Games that announced No Man's Sky 10 years ago. You know, back then, they had, when they announced the game, they had only had four developers working on it at the time. Four-man team. Or four-person team, I don't know if it was all men. But, uh, <laughs> they only had four people working on that game when they announced it. So they, they had no idea. And when Sean was interviewed that year, after the Game Awards, I mean, they were asking questions like, oh, will there be a physical release? And he was like, I don't know, we, we don't plan to at the moment. Um, and in other interviews, people ask him, will there be NPCs? He's like, no, there'll be a story mode, not really. But all those things were in the game. Um, and so that's just because, I mean, they had never made a game like that before. But now they've been managing a, essentially a live service without microtransactions for the last seven years. So they understand, they understand what people expect from them. They understand that when they get as hype, they have to deliver, or else they already know the narrative that's gonna that's gonna uh, form if they don't. So it's, I know we should be cautiously optimistic, but Hello Games over the last seven years have done nothing but deliver. So I, I'm, I'm allowing myself to get hyped for this. I'm really excited. This looks really good. Um, and I haven't even spoken to the interface or anything. Um, cause I know that tends to change a lot between, you know, builds and whatnot. Even, even when, after the game's released, it, it tends to change. So, but yeah, yeah, those are my thoughts on, on golly. Sorry, it's, it's just stunning. Those are my thoughts on Light No Fire, Hello Games' next game. I don't know if we'll get it next year. I'm thinking probably 2025 at the soonest. But they've been working on it for five years, so you never know. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing this with friends. My friends are hyped. And like I said, this is, this is no longer a No Man's Sky channel. This is now a Light No Fire channel. <laughs> I kid, though. Um... Right after this, I'm going to record a video talking all about the 2024 No Man's Sky announcement that they've showed us right before this. Because I am hyped for that too. Like, I c well, again, I'll show you in the next video. That'll be a shorter video, but I'll show you how hyped I am. And uh, on top of that, <laughs> I'm also, I was in the middle of putting together an hour long No Man or Assassin's Creed video that was going to go out next week. Uh, We'll see if it's, it's if it's able to. Videos that big take a long time to make. But hey, if you're interested in getting hype for Light No Fire for No Man's Sky 2024 and maybe a little Assassin's Creed, feel free to subscribe. And, and please leave a like or dislike on the channel. You know I gotta say all this stuff. It really helps me. helps the algorithm. Um, <laughs> man, I'm just... I, I can't help it. I've had a smile the entire time I've been recording this video. No script or anything. I'm just hyped. So, yeah. Probably won't do much editing on this. <laughs> I apologize in advance if the audio is terrible. I just I, I just had to talk about this. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited? How do you feel about the shift from sci-fi to fantasy? What about the idea of it all being one planet with so much variety? I mean, I think it's a great idea. And I can't wait to see what they would... Because Sean had described this before as like, what would we do if we were to make No Man's Sky again, but this time with all the knowledge we've already gained from working on it for a decade? And it's like, that's an exciting prospect. And and this seems to be living up to that idea. I mean, <laughs> I've not been this excited for a game announcement since Judas. And before that, since No Man's Sky, honestly. Before that, uh, Bioshock Infinite. But, uh... <laughs>
yeah, it's 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 really something else. So thanks again for watching. Sorry about the long windedness. This is this is as impromptu as it gets. All, pretty much no filter. Um, I'm just hyped. I'm just excited. And feel free to get excited in the comments below. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the No Man's Sky 2024 reaction or whatever I'm going to call it. That'll be coming out probably within 24 hours of this one. I'm putting it out next. And uh, stay tuned for that big Assassin's Creed video. Even if you're not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. But if you are a big Assassin's Creed fan, oh boy, you're going to love this. Um, oh yeah, and I should also plug channel memberships because I am... <laughs> well, I wouldn't call myself poor, but I have never been rich once in my life. I'll, I'll put it that way. And uh, <laughs> a man's got to eat, you know what I'm saying? I might eat a little bit too much, <laughs> but I got to eat regardless. So <laughs> if you're interested in channel memberships... They got all kinds of perks and stuff. You can check that out too. I'll put a link in the description. Boy, I sound like a YouTuber. This isn't even my full-time job. I'm just a, a happy boy tonight. <sighs> yeah. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, oh wait, I should wait for it to get to the end of the trailer.